Coming across to breaking news, coming in, the Taliban has now raided the Indian consulates in Kandahar and Herat. The Indian missions were raided by the Taliban for documents. Taliban has also surrounded the Indian embassy in Kabul. I want to cut across to Sanika, who's picking up more details on the same. Over to you, Sanika. So we're getting uh, some uh, very, uh, very initial details from our reporters on the ground of how uh, the Indian embassies in Kandahar and Herat were raided by Taliban uh, terrorists. Uh, what we know is that Taliban was looking for certain documents. We're not sure of what the documents were, probably of uh, probably of the secret services uh, that, uh, or, or probably of the Indian uh, work that was carried out in Afghanistan over the years. But uh, we know that there were certain searches in Kandahar and Herat uh, in, the, in these two cities, the embassies that are located in these two cities. Uh, though, we have no, uh, though we have no confirmation if, uh, if similar searches were carried out in other uh, embassies in Jalalabad, but what we know is that the embassy in Kabul was also surrounded by Taliban terrorists. Uh, these are the initial this is the initial information uh, that we are gathering from our reporters on the ground. Whether this was done uh, at the behest of the ISI or the Pakistan also remains to be seen. Because it certainly is a very big development if uh, Taliban is conducting searches at uh, Indian embassies in Kandahar and Herat. Uh, just a few days back when we also had uh, our sources in the Indian government confirming that uh, when the Indian um, Indian dip, uh, diplomats were sort of returning, the Taliban tried to block, uh, block this entire process and uh, it was only after negotiations that the Indian delegation was allowed to proceed to the airport is uh, what we were told. Uh, right now we are awaiting more details from our reporters on the ground as well as an official statement uh, from the government, from the Ministry of External Affairs uh, as well. Uh, what we can tell our viewers is that the Indian diplomats have been evacuated from Afghanistan but uh, certain embassies in, Kabul, in, uh, in Afghanistan are still working with uh, Afghan nationals as the staff members there. Uh, we will keep a close track on the developments that are taking place and keep our viewers updated on the scene. Oh yes, and uh, thank you Sanika for joining us with these details. We sip into a short commercial break, also taking a quick check.